arrived at the airport and we are on our way to what's that? Gdansk. Uh, Gdansk. 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 <laughs> Gdansk. Gdansk and Poland to check out the Skavesen Guitar Factory for like one or two days and meet a bunch of people who all bought at the guitars and all that shit so should be fun. We're looking for Terminal 2 and beer. The airport in Danzig. Dansk. Gdansk. And we're not going to tell you how much this one was. But cheers. Can you read this? Yeah, sure. Sure. Kartuchi, Gdansk, Vrchachukchik, Gdynia, Gdovna. Seriously? Look at this. Einweg transport des Hundes. Transportation of the door. Are you fucking kidding me? Morgen. I hope you can see these buildings behind us and we I really hope a hotel or a hostel or whatever it is is not over there. We found it. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Can you even see what you have inside? Everything, actually. We have a computer with K. Nice. <laughs> Informatia. <laughs> and then we have Beshbrech <laughs> Berivovni. This is not a hotel. <laughs> this is the street or hotel hostel thing should be at but we don't know whether 85 the number the lady gave us is our room number or the house number or phone number but try to open it works unbelievable <laughs> gee damn is that the place and if you turn on a light or something i really hope we don't have to share the couch Really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? This is not what I rented, seriously. Yeah. Be oh, fucking. Oh, fucking door for this? The door is bigger than the room. I'm pretty sure there's a mistake or something. I don't know. What? We have to, to sleep together, Mark. How is it? It's fucking amazing. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Welcome to our crib. That's a place where we <laughs> usually cook our food and all that. It's our kitchen. And this is this is our kitchen. Yeah, yeah. The whole kitchen. <laughs> just, just guess what this is. I'm double. Ew. Just guess what it is. Good morning. It's day two and. Danzig and we are a little hungover I'd say. Yep. Got a little later last night than we expected. Don't park in our videos please. <laughs> little buddy! No, now we're heading out to get some coffee and hopefully breakfast. A little more than a fucking banana. We are going to check out the Skabesen factory today. I don't know where it is but I hope I think Hype does. Should be pretty close to the airport somewhere. And we are too late. No, we are too, of course we are too late. We just found out that this one, like behind me, is the wrong airport. So that means that we took the wrong train and are like really far away from factory because I have two airports which we didn't know taxi time now took the taxi to the factory and now we are almost here feeling any better nope. oh, we made it you made it you can see a lot of uh, guitars here and look at this fucking guitar like look at the fretboard Time's ready for the finish. And look at this. And 
here waiting for assembly. It's a shelf with the, with the next and quite quickly we decided to apply this uh, like two weeks resting period. So after each process... At least. At least two weeks. So after each process we're like removing uh, material from the neck, so it goes here and then we have like the most uh, stable uh, neck we can do. Yeah, we have like uh, another uh, crazy guy that uh, orders Kerberton. So 10th string is on the way. <laughs> and uh, if you want, you can check. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I don't have very long uh, fingers, but uh, it's actually playable. <laughs> and this is for the, the, the second one, for the same guy. <laughs> so it's 10th string, and uh, it's, it has no, uh, like, uh, Around it's around the final uh, uh, final um, profile, <laughs> and it's quite playable. It's crazy. You know? it's crazy. So, so you can experiment so if you want to check this. You posted a double neck uh, eight yeah. string. Yeah, it was sixteen string. Sixteen. No, double neck. Yeah. Yeah. Felix Martin. He is left-handed guy that makes this uh, two-hand tapping. So he will make video soon, and uh, he's really crazy. So uh, you can check Felix Martin videos. So here is the finish. Okay, so here we have this waterfall. <laughs> so this is because it has like minus electrical. Um, uh, so all the particles are going to the water. Sometimes ago we put the stuff. What do you think? A lot of people talk. Good looking guys. A lot of wood porn. Some guys sand. Ah, so th this machine is so is so precise that you can remove only the 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 letters from the paper from the paper. You know, one one hundred of millimeter. So we put this uh, wood and uh, it goes really, really, you know, like flat and even. So uh, we put uh, the, the, the body of the guitar in this kind of, like, uh, tool. Uh, so uh, each different uh, model, which it, with each different scale and string, number of string, means different, uh, this kind of tool. You know? So we have, like, uh, we, we were counting that without changing colors, we have like 500 combinations of scale, Whoa. strings, and headstocks, and uh, bodies and stuff. These tools are uh, custom made for us to, uh, you know, glue together like like body stops and uh, and stuff like that. So not like 20 minutes in some companies. Just like all whole day, we have like uh, stainless steel. Threads, so guys are leveling them, recrowning, and then polishing all the all the threads. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, whole day. Why is it so much work? Because we, we would like to have the 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 best accuracy of the of the leveling. Okay. Because we assume that uh, stainless steel threads are for life. So we are trying to use this machine more because uh, it's very very accurate. Yeah. And uh, it has like additional axes, so so it's not drilling just like this. It, it can you know turn a bit. Here you know on this one, on this one, uh, here they level uh, like uh, all, the, all the all the surfaces and the ends of threads and stuff like that. So this this machine is also not so fancy, but it's very useful, very useful. This will be like uh, your uh, custom uh, model uh, called Kinos. So qu something quite new. He, he sent us his uh, AutoCAD drawing, and uh, with with Yarek, we, we said this looks totally like Scarabus. Do it like this. Keep it here. No. Then change and uh, put the hole in the exactly right place. So we had like this uh, one guy. He was uh, on the on the training, and uh, he made the dots. So he had to. <laughs> Get rid of the whole oh. <laughs> We just uh, met each other <coughs> on the seven string uh, PL kind of guitar for it. 
So we were like uh, knowing each other for many years sometimes, but only from Japan. That, that's why guys are from all the world. So here we hide the bodies. <laughs> Nasty, <laughs> nasty customers are here. Yeah. So here we have a price of wood. We put it, you know, uh, uh, we separate every every piece so it, it dries here. And also, so you can tweak your, your cabinet. So you put this kind of uh, part of wood between the uh, front and the, and the back. And also, you have like, you, you take like four different, totally different uh, types of woods. Pieces uh, long, uh, longer, shorter, bigger, and you glue it to the to the four, you know, uh, side, uh, four walls, you know, and it uh, kills uh, bad resonances. Very good. Here is everything that doesn't fit anywhere. Else. Yeah. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> you work out here all the time. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Like a rock. Your list, bro. Uh, the whole uh, like like assembly room we have there was here initially. You know, so we wow. were, but originally at, at, the very, at, at the very beginning we were only this first first big uh, place. So there was no this place, no no that place. So then we we were making assembly here, and then we switched to, to this bigger. So for a few months we were here. It was like a bit depressing, <laughs> but uh, it was fun. Awesome. Lock the door and fuck you, man. And then it was like writing and uh, recording new stuff. So we have like this small but quite advanced uh, studio, you know. Pretty impressive. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us folks or crew at Skirvesen Guitars. We had a very awesome time checking out your factory, getting to hang with you guys, like all the other guitar players and people that showed up. It was really cool to learn about your company and your history and get to know you a little better. We hope that there's going to be another meetup at some point in the future and we will be very happy to take part. Thank you guys a lot for taking such good care of us and all the other people. It was really a really fun weekend for us. Thank you and thanks for watching. <laughs>